Hi, I'm Stephanie Sanford, and this is the NRA ILA Grassroots News Minute for Friday, March 8th. Last Wednesday, Senator Dianne Feinstein held Senate Judiciary Committee hearings on Senate Bill 150, her gun and magazine ban legislation. Feinstein insisted on holding her own hearings because hearings held a month ago by Judiciary Committee Chairman Senator Patrick Leahy didn't produce enough support for her bill. Senator Lindsey Graham asked John Walsh, the U.S. Attorney for Colorado, and Milwaukee Police Chief Edward Flynn if they knew how many murders are committed with rifles of any type and how many prosecutions they had undertaken of criminals who failed background checks when illegally trying to buy guns from dealers. Easy questions, one would think, but Walsh fumbled his answer saying that he didn't know for sure about the rifle murders and that his prosecutions had numbered zero. Flynn then interrupted Senator Graham to say that prosecuting criminals who illegally try to buy guns was irrelevant. Then, in the most despicable comment of the day, Senator Dick Durbin went after former U.S. Representative Sandy Adams. After Representative Adams acknowledged that her husband, a fellow law enforcement officer, had died in the line of duty, Durbin sarcastically said, I'm sure you'll now support the universal background check to keep the guns out of the hands of criminals, won't you? Representative Adams coolly replied, no, sir. The Senate Judiciary Committee will meet again soon, this time to mark up several pieces of gun-related legislation, including Senate Bill 150 and a bill criminalizing private firearm transfers. Please contact your elected officials and respectfully urge them to protect our constitutional right to keep and bear arms. You can use the Write Your Reps feature at www.nraila.org, or you can reach your member of Congress by phone at 202 224-3121.